what's still to play for this season, do you think, in terms of uh, how big a season could this still be for Rangers? Yeah, I think it's... Um, I think, to be honest, I think, you know, the, the question of what's still to play for is a bit of a silly one because I think, you know, as, as players, as... as um, as staff and you know as a football club we've got a lot to play for because we play for Rangers football club so you know every game's important um you know we've got a semi final to look forward to we've got you know the rest of the league to finish strong and, and build into next season in terms of the semi final next week has that been spoken about at all no it's not our focus we've got a game on sunday so our full focus will be on the game on sunday um that's how the manager likes to do it we like to tackle the task in front of us and then we move forward after that you look at your performance at the weekend, you feel you're just getting stronger and stronger every single week at the moment. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Um, you know, like I said when I first came here, you know, the manager's going to give me the freedom to, to play the way I want to play. And, you know, I think you're starting to see that at the moment where, you know, I'm, I'm starting to pick up the ball um, in lots of different places and, and, yeah, try and contribute to the team. Do you think once you get a pre season under your belt as well, that you can take yourself to an even higher level as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it is a momentum thing, football, and, and it's a form thing. So, you know, I think when you're when you're playing and you're enjoying yourself, you just want the next game to come. So right now, that's that's my full focus. After the Celtic game, you put a post on social media about you know them not losing for, you know they're not winning the game, you losing it. There was a, a lot of reaction mm -hmm. to that. Does that just show that the focus there is on on this football club and what it's like playing in this city? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, for context, it was it was more our mistakes that felt like you know we gave them the win. I think that was quite obvious, but it was quite easy for people on Twitter the, to have their fun with you know what what I really meant by it. Let's say, um, but listen, look, you know, the fans the fans were obviously disappointed with the result as we were. So for me as a player, I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't gone silent and that you know we didn't win. So I don't want to say anything type of type of attitude. So. You know, win, lose or draw, I think you should always interact with the fans for sure. Is that big thing sort of stepping up and taking accountability? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the the game itself, you know, we you know, we, we felt like we were we were playing well and, you know, we, we, we did give some easy goals away, so it was frustrating and I think that was the context that I really meant by that. Um but yeah, no, in, in general, um, you know, I think we've been we've had a good reaction since so Yeah, you showed a response and it's about continuing that on for the rest of the season. Yeah, definitely. Exactly like I said before, I think every game's important at Rangers Football Club and you know the the manager, the staff, the players are all very hungry to continue with, you know, building forward really. So, so the manager spoke after the weekend about keeping on you and he was pleased with your performances but he believes that there's a long way to come for, for, from you. What what's that like for you when you're playing well but you know that the manager's gonna help you to, to find even better performance levels from yourself? Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, like I said, you know, the reason I came here was because of the manager, really. So, you know, as far as, you know, the bits and pieces that we talk about day in, day out and, you know, the, the bits that you're seeing from me now, like I said earlier, where I have a little bit more freedom and, and bits and pieces like that. You know, it's exactly what we plan for. So, you know, that I know the best of me is still to come, but I'm enjoying myself at the moment. And with that freedom, you're also playing with players like Nico and, and, and Malik. You've not played that much with them. How much more can that relationship develop and how good do you think you can be together in that midfield? Yeah, um, I, I think you know we we can be really good together. Um, we get on off the pitch, which is important. Um, I think, like you said, there we haven't had loads of opportunities to play with each other at the moment. But um, you know, I think each game we're looking stronger as we play together. And you know, again, I think um, at times I think we've got to take a little bit more ownership on on dictating games ourselves. Um, and you know, we we all like to play with each other, so we've got to show that and, and give the belief to the manager in that sense. Well, I don't know social media comments where you're taking aback with the backlash. Nah, that sort of stuff really doesn't bother me. It doesn't phase me at all. I know it's easy to sit here and say, but if I, if it really bothered me, I wouldn't have posted in the first place. So what did they tell you to kind of make future comments on social media? What was that? Sorry? Wouldn't they tell you to make future comments on social no, media? No, 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 no. Listen, social media is an interesting place. Um, there's uh, a lot of people that make a living off just quoting little bits and pieces and that. You know, you don't say anything, you're hiding, you're not interested. You do say something, it's the wrong thing to say. It's, uh, it's an interesting place to be, I'll be honest. And just your overall time here, fairly new to the club, how would you describe it so far? Yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. Um, you know, the, the size of the club is massive and, you know, uh, the responsibility is something you only hear about. You now feel it now that I'm here and I've settled. Um, you know, I really enjoy myself and really enjoying playing at Ibrox and really enjoying the responsibility that's on my shoulders at the moment. What have your teammates told you about the rivalry with Aberdeen? Um, to be honest, I think... <laughs> 
I think most games, you know, I, I think as Rangers, uh, as a player, you have to go into the mentality of like no one really wants to play you. Um, and when they do, it's some sort of a rivalry. Um, for me, honestly, it's 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 a compliment to where where you are. You know, if every team sees you as a rival, they're they're you know they they, they don't really want to play you. That's the way I'd look at it. Listen, I I don't believe in hatred in football. I think it's silly. Rivalries are healthy because it means that there's competition, which means people want to win games. So there's no hatred there. I think it's just another game where we can go and enjoy and, and, and try and turn turn um, you know the form that we want on. And how important is it, obviously, for the big game around the corner next week to get a result this weekend? Um, listen, it's imp it's important for the for what we want in terms of the league. But really, you know, football's a strange game. So you know, you you could lose at the weekend and win next weekend, and you know, it, it, there is really no sort of follow one. I think it'll be two different games. Um, I think the way we're looking to play against Aberdeen may slightly differ to how we'll play against Celtic. So I think, like I said earlier, we've got to prep for the game ahead of us and, and we'll move on to Celtic next week. Did you see the tackle from Graeme Shinney, which means he won't make it on Sunday? I did. I did, yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't I don't really wish to comment on it. I, listen, I, I've seen it. My opinion is my opinion and it's irrelevant because it looks like you know the, the solution or the result is, is not going to change from my opinion. My opinion. Are you finding there's a, a difference in the way games are refereed north of the border? Thing? It, yeah, it feels that way. It feels that way. Obviously, I have to be very careful what I say. Um, but no, it does feel that way. I think, um, you know, it's not easy to be a referee. Let's be honest. It's not easy to be an official. Um, you know, if a decision goes against you, you're fuming. And if it goes for you, you know, you're the happiest. <laughs> you're the happy team. So I think, I think all players and all managers can ask for is consistency. Um, if a decision's wrong and you know it, it leads to, to games changing, then that's where the that's where the anger comes from because you know it is it can be deciding you know more than just the game itself. It can be the league table and stuff like that. But listen, we just want consistency as players. There is an art to tackling, though, isn't there? And um, does this make you think about it even more? Yeah, uh, I'll be honest. Yeah, it does make me think about tackling. I mean, I've picked up so many other cards since I've been here. I don't think I've ever been booked as much. Um, but yeah, that's something. That's something that you know. Like I say, listen, referees. All you can ask for as a player is consistency, and listen, players can get things wrong as well. It's not just refs. Can you speak to referees up here? Uh, that's been difficult, but that's also been difficult in my whole career. I don't really think referees want to hear hear from players. To be honest, I think you know, especially when you're in a moment, you're probably not the most polite you'd like to be either to the ref. So I'm not sure that they probably want to have a conversation with you when you've just called them whatever you've called them. So, but yeah, no, listen, it's all part of the game. Dodgy, hit the gritty celebration after you scored at the weekend. Can we expect to see that? <laughs> um, maybe not a trademark. Listen, with my celebrations, I, I just I just like to enjoy it. It's just a, it's just a sign of me enjoying my football. Um, you know, when when I'm when I'm not and I'm not scoring, then yeah, then you've got to worry. But listen, there'll be more there'll be more celebrations to come. I hope. Was that a nice moment when you there was a young fan after the game getting a copy of the celebration? Yeah, no, I saw that. I saw that. I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You've got to inspire the the younger generation. And listen, if you're not enjoying playing football, then there's no point playing it, is there? The fans have really taken to you very quickly. Become a fan's favourite. Is that something you've enjoyed and you like that side of it? All? Yeah, it's been amazing because it's been so so. Um, whoops, it's been uh, so organic as well. Um, you know, like I've I've just played the way I want to play. I've worked the way I want to work, and you know, it's fantastic to have that feeling like you know the fans like you and they and they want you to be in the team. And you know, it is powerful for me as a player to to have that sort of connection. And it's something that you know is is definitely special about Rangers. You said as well that that's happened organically. I think that's right because we first spoke about what type of player you you were when you first came here and, and you were keen to say it maybe wasn't what we thought and that's really shown through you putting a lot of work in midfield and you're actually kind of like the fans are really taken to that side of you but we saw another side last week when you assisted for the fifth the fifth goal for Scott Arfield when you burst past a couple of players you're really showing that kind of side to it and linking up and the numbers are starting to come is that something you want more of? Yeah um, I think every player wants to be involved in, in, in those sort of numbers um, you know, I, like I said to you, I remember saying when I first come, you know, I don't prioritise my game on numbers, I prioritise it on results. Um, listen, I think the position that you're playing definitely definitely alters that. I think if you're playing higher up, it is a responsibility of yours to, to come in with that. So for me, just to, you know, come come good towards the end of a game, which is a fitness thing. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. And like I say, I'm really enjoying my football.